This is SLU News 22. Good evening, St. Louis University. I'm Stephanie Wilga, and you're watching SLU News 22. In tonight's newscast, we'll tell you how you can get a first glimpse at the Chaffetz Arena, and Mary Fester from the Billiken Forecast Center will be here to give you the latest on the St. Louis weather. But first, our top story. For those of you who are in St. Louis over spring break, you experienced the days of torrential downpour that caused flooding across the state of Missouri. The storm, which caused floods from Texas to Pennsylvania, has been blamed for at least 16 deaths. The worst of the storm was in Missouri, where it showered more than a foot of rain in some parts. The flooding was most concentrated along the Merrimack River and in the southeastern part of the state, where at least 200 homes were evacuated in Cape Girardeau County. The effects of the flood were so grave that President Bush approved federal disaster aid for St. Louis and over 70 Missouri counties. On Friday and Saturday, traffic was stalled along Interstate 44, west of St. Louis, where crews barricaded against the river's swelling waters. Near Valley Park, waters lapped at the shoulders of 44, submerging the interchange with Highway 141. The Missouri Department of Transportation scrubbed and reopened the intersection Monday morning after the flood waters receded. Cleanup crews are now out in full force, restoring the areas damaged by the flood. This weekend, the Indian Student Association will hold their annual culture show. This year's theme is Meet the Indian Parents and will feature a skit and traditional Indian dances. You can catch a performance Friday night, March 28th at 7 p.m. or Saturday night, March 29th at 6 p.m. in Xavier Auditorium. Tickets are $8 and the benefits will go to the Cure a Little Heart Foundation. When we come back from the break, John Castelli will be here to give you the rest of the news. Welcome back, I'm John Castelli. The Chaffetz Arena will soon be open and you can get a first look at it during the grand opening event. On Thursday, April 10th, the Chaffetz Arena will officially open its doors with a ribbon-cutting ceremony and a blessing by Father Biondi. After the opening ceremony, you can take a self-guided tour of the facility while the SLU pep band, cheerleaders, and the Blue Crew fill the arena with school spirit. Current and past basketball players will also be there to sign autographs. The new SLU merchandise store will also be open and the concession stands will be available for you to try free samples of the new food and the festivities go from 4 to 7 p.m. When we come back from the break, lead forecaster Mary Fester will give you your complete five-day outlook. Stay tuned.
The Lady Bills and Indiana State completed five innings of scoreless softball on Wednesday before the game was called due to inclement weather. The Sycamores put on two runs in the top of the six, but the Bills not getting the chance to bat in the bottom half of the inning, the game ended in a five-inning 0-0 tie. The Lady Bills returned to action on Friday at, with a 2 o'clock game at LaSalle. And in women's tennis, St. Louis halted a two-match skid with a thrilling 4-3 victory over Southern Illinois at the Sunset Tennis Center on Wednesday. Caitlin McKenna and Haley Elmore were double winners, allowing the 9-7 Lady Bills to capture the doubles point and the match. And in baseball, the Billikens got rained out on their game Wednesday night, but they will continue their six-game homestand when Fordham comes to town on Friday. The original start time for the game was scheduled for 7 o'clock, but now it has been moved to 4. Dave Sever is expected to make the start on the mound for the Bills. He pitched against Fordham the last time that SLU met them. SLU won that game 2-0, so hopefully the rain will hold off and we'll be able to enjoy a nice day at the ballpark. I know I'm going to be out there. I'll be filming a segment for my new show, Out of Bounds. And one more thing to mention, the National Field Hockey Coaches Association named 14 members of the 2007 SLU field hockey team to the Division I National Academic Squad or that's awarded to teams with at least a 3.0 GPA. So congratulations to them, and Stephanie will have more after the break. Well, that's all the news we have for you tonight, SLU. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked our new format. On behalf of John Castelli, Edward Birch, and Mary Vester, I'm Stephanie Wilga, and thank you for watching SLU News 22.